Hello students. In this video, we'll revise how we expand algebraic expressions using the distributive law. So I might change my pen color. Here we go. OK, first question, expand three times in brackets y plus 5. Well, what I like to do whenever I'm using the distributive law is put these little arcs in just to remind myself that I'm multiplying the term or the expression outside the brackets by each of the terms inside the brackets. So that gives me 3 times y, which I write as 3y, copy the plus sign, and 3 times 5 is 15. Similarly, if you have a subtraction, then you multiply 2 by each of those terms inside. Now, later on, you'll learn that I like to change most of my subtractions to additions just to make the uh, the rest of the setting out easier but for this one I'm going to keep it as a subtraction because it's pretty straightforward so I'm going to do just 2 times 3h which is 6h minus 2 times 4 which is 8 so you multiply the factor outside the brackets times each of the terms inside the brackets now here's where it gets a little bit tricky um, if I give this to students to do and ask them to have a go, most of them will get it wrong based on my experience. And that's because we have a subtraction out there, sorry, a negative outside the brackets, now negative two, and we got a subtraction there. So except for really simple expressions like that, I like to have my students change every subtraction to add the opposite. So subtracting three, change it to plus negative three. And that means you're always going to have addition, never subtraction. And it turns out that just makes, uh, makes the algebra a little bit easier. And students tend to make far fewer mistakes if they do that. So it's up to you. You can keep it as a, as a subtraction if you wish. But my recommendation, especially when you're first uh, learning how to do the stuff we're doing in this video series, change your subtractions to add the negative. OK, let's go ahead and do it. So negative 2 times 4y, well, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So negative 8y, negative times a positive is a negative, plus negative 2 times negative 3, well, negative times a negative is a positive, that becomes positive 6. And again, I've probably seen uh, countless times, thousands of times, questions like this, because the students see the negative sign or because they see the subtraction, they want to write subtract 6, which is incorrect. OK, finally, we also learned last year how to expand and simplify. And once again, every time I have a subtraction, I find it's best when you're first learning this to change every subtraction to add the negative, like so. OK, let's go ahead and do this one using my method. 4 times 3h is 12h, always a plus. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 plus negative 2 times negative 4h. Well, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 times h, so plus 8h. Now, we're not quite finished. We can now simplify this because we are allowed to add like terms. In fact, we have to add like terms. So in this case, like terms have exactly the same letter part. So 12h plus 8h adds to give us 20h plus, and then we just add the numbers together. Negative 12 plus negative 10. Well, if you add two negatives, you get a larger negative. So plus negative 22. And you can leave it like that. Or if you want to change it back to a subtraction at the end, Adding negative 22 is the same as subtracting 22. So either of those are correct. So if you don't like my method of um, changing every subtraction to add the negative, try doing that question on your own and see if you get the correct answer. If you can, then stick with what you're doing. OK, I'd like you to stop the video and expand each of these expressions, please. And with the bottom one, also simplify. OK, let's see how you went. So we multiply 2 times k and 2 times 5. 2 times k is 2k. 
plus 2 times 5 is 10. And one thing that uh, a lot of students make the mistake, again, I've seen this thousands of times, is they see the 2 and the K. So they write the 2K down. They see the 5, and they write down a 5. So that's why it's useful to put these little arcs in there to remind yourself that you've got to multiply the factor outside or the expression outside the brackets by everything inside the brackets. Now with this one here, you can leave it as a neg subtract three because it's pretty straightforward, or you can change it into plus negative. I'll change it into a plus negative, but that's one I, I'm quite happy to just leave it as a subtraction because it's all pretty straightforward. Students don't make the mistake of writing that as a, a plus on the end. Five times three J, well, five times three is 15. So that's 15 J plus five times negative three is negative 15. So you can leave it like that, or you can write it as 15 J plus negative is the same as subtract 15. So that's the one case where if you leave it as a subtraction, it still works out without any problems. Okay, this is where students can run into difficulty when you've got a negative and a subtraction, which is why for this question, I'd strongly suggest you change that to a plus negative put the little arcs in to remind you to multiply that by each of the terms inside the brackets. Negative four times two Y is negative eight Y and plus, and negative four times negative five is positive 20. So the answer is eight Y plus 20. Okay, and the last one we need to expand and simplify. So once again, strongly recommend that you change every subtraction to add the negative. You're gonna make fewer mistakes when you're first learning algebra. So multiply those together, multiply those together. Negative three times two H is negative six H plus negative three by negative one is positive one plus negative three times two is negative six plus negative three by negative six H negative times a negative is positive 18 H. And then to finish off, we have to add the like terms. So negative six plus 18. Well, that's like a debt of $6 plus $18. After I pay off my debt, I still have $12 left. So 12 H and plus one plus negative six, I got a dollar and a debt of $6 altogether. After I pay off um, as much of the debt as I can, I still owe $5. So that's correct. Or you can write it back as a subtraction. So plus negative five is the same as subtract five. So that's a quick review of expanding using what's called the distributive law. So in the next video, we'll show you remind you, sorry, how to factorize using the distributive law.